Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams, and joining me on the summit today is Brandon Pate from Brandon Sports Talk. Brandon, thank you for some, so much for stopping by and visiting this channel. I, I appreciate getting to see you today. Your problem. No problem. Brandon, you are the owner and operator of Brandon's Sports Talk. So what is this this video podcast all about? So I do interviews with college coaches, sports business owners like yourself, and people that work in professional sports. So I've got to have from all the way up to the NHL, to the NFL, a little bit of the NFL, all the way to, of course, Major League Baseball. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing the podcast since November of last year. No, December, actually, of last year. But I didn't. December 6th of last year. But I didn't fully get into it until, of course, whenever football season got on. And then whenever football season was happening, I was doing a, it with WJG Sports, who is out here in the Goldsboro area. And I would cover like a game for them. And they were they used one of my videos from a Princeton game, and I was like, "Hey, if you could use my videos, I got something." You know, whenever it comes to sports videography, so that's how I got started. Was it started as a sports videography slash podcast, and then of course with the pandemic happening and sports getting cut, I was like, "Well, let me just ditch the videography part and worry about interviewing." college coaches, sports business owners, and people in the sports industry. You know, I think, I think hopefully we're going to get past some of this pandemic stuff, but you, you're really doing well. I'm in, uh, since you, you have gotten into it, you've just been going nonstop and, and it seems like you're doing well. Is there any kind of specific sport or team that you do like to cover? So normally in my episodes where I sit in front of the camera, where it's just me, I normally, like, of course, talk about UNC Tar Heels, NC State, and Georgia Bulldogs, along with New York Yankees, whenever I talk about, like, anything MLB, because those are the jerseys that I have. So I try to, like, with the jerseys that I have, which is over there to the side of me, I try to be, like, whenever I write the script, I'm like, let me add UNC Tar Heels, Michael Jordan, so people know. Oh, he's about to talk about Michael Jordan from UNC. And that'll like drag them in to be like, oh, I just heard Michael Jordan. Let me listen to the whole rest of the stuff. I would be listening. Uh I I I'm a fan of Michael Jordan and and really enjoyed watching during the 80s and 90s, definitely. I know I'm a little bit older than you, so that's that's all right. Uh <laughs> I'm a big fan. Well, look, okay, that that got you into, you know, the podcast end of it. Have you always been a sports fan? Yes, so I always grew up a sports fan, and I always went to Carolina Tar Heels games. Even though I'm a state fan in basketball, I do enjoy watching them in football and basketball. Just because my father, he was a bit, he's a big Tar Heels fan. So like anytime he wanted to go to a game, I would be going to the game as a Tar Heels fan, even if state played. Occasionally, I would bring my state jersey, you know. Once I got that, but now I, now that I have two Carolina Tar Heels jerseys, I'm trying to get to more games to use them more than just my podcast. Well, you, you talked about interviewing on all different levels. Uh, some talk about some of the, the people you've had the chance to interview. I've seen some of your interviews online and it looks like that you have a wide variety of people you've had a chance to talk to talk about some of them. So I've had on the Mark. Miami Marlins, Brian Miller. I've had on the famous ECU East Carolina baseball coach, Cliff Godwin. I've had on Pete Weber from the Nashville Predators, along with Pete Rogers, who worked with the Nashville Predators as emergency, as equipment manager, along with I have had on the emergency goalie, Dustin Bones. And I've had on Denny Smith, Denny Lennon, from Sports Stories with Denny Lennon, along with Marquise Williams, the famous UNC Tar Heels quarterback. I know you probably know him. He's come on my podcast. Landon Turner from UNC, he's been on my podcast, along with I've had on multiple coaches, all the way from, of course, where I'm from in the North Carolina area, 
to a little bit in the Midwest area, but nothing towards, let's see. I've had on people from UCLA, Georgia, of course, one person from Georgia, a lot of people from North Carolina, just because that's where I'm from, a few people from up north, and I would say a little bit of people from Midwest, but not that many. Well, still, hey, listen, if you're going out to UCLA, I mean, it sounds like you're going coast to coast. So it's definitely a, a, a broad spectrum of getting to getting to visit with people. Uh, you talked about, you know, things shifted because of the pandemic and because the sports world has made shifts. And I understand that personally you know, from so many different levels. But it looks like that uh, hopefully uh, things may be getting back to something bef- you know, prior to March 2020. How do you think that's going to affect your channel and, and how do you see your channel growing? So I see my channel growing very big, but I do not see myself going back to my old ways of filming, like going out to like, obviously, I'm still going out to games like because this past Friday I went out to a high school game. But that's just because I'm a sports photographer and that's where I make my money. So my YouTube channel does not make my money. My sports photography with working with news papers and stuff like that. That's what brings in my money. But I do not see myself going back to like, if you if you look like at the beginning of my channel, at the very start, you would see like a few highlight videos from like a football, basketball game like that. Mm-hmm. And that's where like I got some views, but I do not see myself going back there. I see myself doing more interviews and also maybe in the future having like panels. I understand. Well, hey, listen, the the opportunities out there with all the, the video technology and all the Zoom stuff, you can you can do that. It sounds like fun. Well, listen, as we wrap up our time with Brandon from Brandon Sports Talk, and I appreciate you coming on today and, and visiting with me. You know, you do more than just interview. You also give your opinions and, and some ideas about uh, things about sports. Talk about that then, and, and uh, you're, you're putting out videos with a lot of frequency. How do you keep up the pace? So I always film my videos on Sunday and sometimes on Sunday. And of course, like today I was planning on filming some videos, but time got to me and I wasn't able to do it because I got so many calls, but I normally film all my videos on Sunday and I plan them out. Like, for example, the topics that I plan, I make sure that they are where they aren't so like, let's say, for example, Deshaun Watson, who's going, planning on getting traded. I'm not going to talk about Deshaun Watson, who's going to get planning on getting traded, because whenever the video comes out, he might have already got traded, or that news might have been like yesterday's news. So I talk about different topics, like, for example, jersey swapping in the college. Should college athletes swap jerseys like they do in the NFL? I talk about that because I know that that topic of jersey swapping and even name, image, and likeness, Mm. that will still be around whenever it finally does come out. So, like, let's say I filmed that video on Sunday, but that video might not come out until February 5th. That video will not be old versus, let's say, if I filmed a video about like Deshaun Watson or Christian McCaffrey who would get released or traded. Now that video, you can probably guarantee if that video comes out in March and that news was in February, nobody's going to watch that. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that, that is true. I understand. And you, Hey, listen, the, the news cycle is what it is anymore. It's 24 seven and everyone's ready for that next thing to come down the pike. Well, Brandon, thank you again for, for stopping by and, and sharing and spending some time with us here on Midwest Sports Net. How do the people find you then? Uh, your channel, Brandon Sports Talk, and any other place? So you can find my channel where I have the podcast episodes and interviews that I've done on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. You can follow me on Twitter at talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk. All right. Well, we're going to keep following you here. We're subscribed, so uh, we're going to keep following you along. You do a fantastic job. Brandon Pate from Brandon Sports Talk, thank you so much for being with us today on the Summit. You're welcome.